I can't think of a greater person to face this reality than someone with the history and the body of work of Spike Lee. Nobody should better be able to face this reality than someone who's proven his consciousness, proven his, his professionalism, and proven his willingness to be courageous in dealing with issues. A man who is an African-American director and one of the best directors in America, who did casting in an African-American community, who's hiring from the African-American community, dealing with African-American issues, sounds real right to me. Put it this way, I am 100% sure that the great city of Chicago can survive a film of conscience just like it did Transformers. <laughs> a lot of things have been said about this film, about people who know nothing about the film. A lot of people have opinions about the so-called title of the film. Again, know nothing about the film. So we felt it was appropriate that we say what the narrative is. The filmmakers, the people doing it, not the people just judging from afar, and again, don't know what the hell they're talking about. Look at us. This is not a joke. This is not a game. This is real life and death. And that's the way we're gonna approach this. That's the way I've approached all, I mean, people acting like they've never seen none of my films. Like, I just got pulled off the street. I've been doing this since 1986. Right, right. This is, this is like a lot of, this is, in fact, everything I've done is led up to this film.